No, no, no. Oh, he's running. Why is he running sideways? What's that about? I mean, it makes me think that I may have fucked up and made it faster than <laughs> <to> run sideways. <laughs> but... uh, hi, I'm Gabe Cazillo. I'm the lead developer on Ape Out. And I'm Bennett Foddy. I contributed art and level design to this game. Uh, so we're just getting started here. There's one thing we should say before they get too far into this speed run, which is there's nothing that game developers like more than watching someone play the game after it ships. It's true. Yeah, it's the favorite. It's like, yeah, we uh, we didn't get enough thing. of this game during development, <laughs> and what we want a lot is to see more of it. Yeah, it's really the main thing that I long for every morning. Yeah, and it doesn't make us cringe. No, it, and it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, it it doesn't grind down our souls. Not even a little bit. It's it's totally fine. Yeah. So we are gonna draw some enjoyment out of this uh, speed speed run. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this guy's playing this game really fast. Uh, faster than I would have expected somebody to play it, for sure. Yeah, it's... Uh, when you're testing a game like this, you're often in a bit of a rush, so we tried to play it as fast as we could. All the time. Especially toward the end. <laughs> but we got... not because we were tired of it. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, he's run why is he running sideways? What's that about? I mean, it makes me think that I may have fucked up and made it faster than <laughs> run sideways. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, I is didn't it... want to think about that too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to me that he's taking a lot of shots. He's not worrying too much about the hits. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of curious how many times he did this. Like, does he die a lot? Right, how much randomness is he relying on? Yeah, I'm also curious whether he found a way to make it so that it's the same seat every time. But I doubt it. I don't think there is a way. I don't think there I is know. a way. So he's reacting to the map. Uh, so, so, yeah, to be clear, if, if you haven't played this game different layout every time you play so uh but there's never a dead end so you, you know probably not going to pay too big of a penalty for just going for just going ape out man i think what's interesting is he's only doing that sideways trick in the hallways yeah. between levels wouldn't you just do it all the time if it was actually faster i mean it clearly is faster it gets a huge speed boost. <laughs> i mean the i mean it's maybe hard it to... only works in between levels why would it only work in between levels yeah i don't know what's the difference I really don't know why that would be. <laughs> it really does make me afraid. It's kind of bothersome, isn't it? It, it really, because I know See, I'm never going to change This it. is why we were looking forward to seeing a speedrun of this game so much. Yeah. Is we knew uh, we'd see some kind of bug that we hadn't found during development. And f not not just we don't want to fix it, but... We won't. We Well, we couldn't because it would invalidate everybody's speedrun times. That's true, yeah. Right? Like, it's now a fact about the world record for your game is that glitch is part of it. Yeah. They can't get rid of the, you know, the, the binoculars thing from Dark Souls 2 either. It's like, that's there forever. What was the binoculars thing? You run, like, four times as fast if you're holding the binoculars. Oh, that's a good... That's yeah. a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're in good company, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, so I mean, he's been playing the game pretty fast so far. He's getting into the more uh, tricky bits now. Uh, the dark levels have got to be harder when you're speedrunning this game because everybody reacts faster and they're right. going to shoot you more. I mean, at least theoretically. Well, he's kind of dodging, though, in this area, right? It's not taking so many hits. Yeah, that's true. It's that sideways run again. Yeah. It's bothersome. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I, I've played this through this area so many times as fast as I could when I was trying to test this game at the end. And uh, I never found any of this sideways running tech. I kind of wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So the, but the theoretical fastest run of Ape Out is going to involve never not running to the right, right? Like never up well, and down. Well, yeah, except for the office in like a right. Couple the office of you have to levels. run in, in in loops. Yeah, and then there are the there's like a level on the boat where you have to run down. At the right, beginning. right, right. But more or less, like every time you go up or down, you're wasting time. Right? Yeah, pretty much. So, but he hasn't had to do it very much. But I have seen a couple of moments where he's gone up or down. So 
yeah, there are a couple times when like there are hard coded obstacles in your way that force you to go up or down. Right. But you can see that I mean clearly part of the reason this is the world record is that he's gotten a good seed so far. Right. He's been, and he's been lucky with not getting hit by some of those shotgun shots. Right. Yeah. It's totally. not doing a huge amount of dodging. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Also, you're getting into this area where there are these the explosive guys who just uh, are one hit kills and. Uh, that's, I mean, that's how, when I was playing this game, speedrunning it, that's what I would always die to, is I would smush a guy who was ex, 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 actually a bomb yeah, and uh, kill myself against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> did we, uh, yeah, did we make this too easy? This game? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's clearly too easy, right? I mean, it's supposed to be a little hard, this game. I mean, he's just running past all these guys. All of them. It's like Dark Souls 1. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's too easy. I mean, it makes me want to go back and fix it. I mean, you shouldn't be able to get through the game just by running. To the right all the time. Yeah. I mean... You should in have to engage. You should have to deal with shit sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. It does seem like you can just run through the whole <laughs> fucking game <laughs> without getting shot. All right. So... Maybe we made it too easy. Yeah, it might be too... I mean, this is just level one, so yeah, that's it'll, fine. Presumably, you will have to do something. You didn't some... even kill that guy. It's like... It's just disrespectful. It is. Okay, so that's level one out of the way. He's playing with a mouse and keyboard, which I also wouldn't expect. Maybe that's how you get that glitch? That I would believe. Because I play I didn't play with a mouse and keyboard very much. Right. Um, but I think it's just imitating a controller under the hood, I thought. Oh look, he has all the bananas. I guess of course he has all the bananas. <laughs> it has there are a surprising number of gorilla memes on the screen for me. Yeah. I mean there are there are there are five gorilla memes. Yeah, well, there is no reason to be upset. Is that, a, is that one of the memes? <laughs> is that a gorilla? Oh, is that what that meme is on the bottom left? Yeah. <laughs> With the cer cereal guy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite level of the game. It's probably the best level. I like how it looks. I like the music that uh, the man made for this level a lot. Uh, I think this, the vibe is cool. I like the mechanics. It yeah. really comes together on this level. Yeah. It's the it's definitely the most interesting of the themes. And also, like, the levels have a more different flow than any other levels. Yeah. Um, and throwing people out of ledges is cool. Uh, one thing that's unique about this level is that it does actually include dead ends sometimes. Um, part of it was because the dead end can never... Um, inconvenience you that much but also because it felt more um kind of cohesive with it being like an office environment it felt like it should be a little bit like right you don't know where you're going and right well we we had it mostly rooms with with two exits but it just doesn't feel like an office yeah it's like oh this conference room is a is a throughway. it's like right. uh, oh sorry everybody i didn't realize you're having a meeting in here I, this is <laughs> but a i have to i have to go through <laughs> it's the only the... way to the kitchen i'm sorry <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's there's got to be a little bit of uh, of that, uh, but it'll be interesting to see. I, so far, he has not reached a dead end. Oh no, he did. That's why I mentioned it. Oh, he did already. Yeah, yeah. He, he. Okay, so this automatically like is yeah. not like a perfect seed. Yeah. yeah. Um. And it suggests that he's not rerunning the same uh, the same seed. Right. Yeah. He didn't know that that was there. Yeah. Yeah. So he's getting close to the end of the first half already of the of the second album. This, I mean, this one is a lot harder than the first one, and it, it wasn't, you wouldn't know it from watching this so far. Right. Um, well, he's not just, right, he's definitely fighting more on this level. Yeah, that's true. And this will be interesting to see. When I'm running uh, this, this area of the game, uh, I definitely take on the snipers because they can shoot you from a long way away. Yeah. Uh, but it does mean it's difficult to go straight to the exit. So let's see. Let's see what he does. Well, that area we got lucky break. Yeah. Well, there are more snipers the the next one. Um, there are side breaks in the midpoint of each album. Um, kind of, they're the only breaks you get in the game, really. Um, I wonder if that makes it more or less popular for speedrunning, having breaks. Probably less. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, at least you don't need to worry about 
You can't oh fail a God. side break. Yeah, he's just, he was, he's just he a leaving the line. It was just very lucky. That, <laughs> that whole thing. That guy you disappeared. Do see that he disappeared in a wall, that guy. I don't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so just pretend you didn't see it. Well, there's mistakes in my stuff here, too. Yeah, I mean... Let's see the odd little thing. Yeah. I mean, it's hard making videos. <laughs> uh, I am noticing that he's doing more than just running through, particularly in these levels. Like, he actually has a lot of awareness of where the people are around him, and he's, like, picking routes where he's yeah. getting cover from off screen. It's true. I wonder if he's using that positional audio to be able to... You know where the people are. Yeah, so this game um, it has, like, a full spatialized audio system with, like, ref the sound reflects off different surfaces differently, and... Um, there's always you can always tell which way you're facing from the uh, from the ambi yeah. ambisonic uh, ambiences that are playing in the game. It's also yeah, unlike most um, games from this perspective, you're the the audio listener is inside the head of the gorilla. So when you rotate your character, it actually rotates the the soundscape around you. Um, so all of the like the positioning stuff is relative to, to right. where the ape is is facing. Um, as opposed to just like being on the right in the sc on the screen or whatever, um, but it should theoretically give you a lot more uh, 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 of a chance to like hear people around corners and stuff like that because you're more embodied in the space. You know exactly where you are. Right. Yeah. 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 So you don't need to you don't need to search out all the guys. You should you should have a pretty good idea of where they are if you're listening closely. Oh my god. And I I Jeez. guess I I believe the the speedrunner here is is uh, probably listening on headphones. But also just interesting how many hits, because having come this far, you're, if you, you, you get three hits before you're dead. Oh my oh, god, he died. died! Oh my god. That's surprising. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, there's, me there's some room for an additional world <laughs> yeah, record true. there. But that's gonna happen, I mean, that's exactly what we're talking about, right? You know, if you're taking, if you're letting the, the hits rack up that way, there's a chance you're gonna die. Yeah, I mean, it seems like... I mean, this is what's weird about speedrunning, I guess, is that it's it makes sense to to always do the most risky thing, right? Right. Because if it works out once, you, it counts. Right. It's not about, like, having a good average performance. Right. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of curious. I'd be curious to, like, watch this guy's stream and see what it's like when he's... when you're not just seeing the highlights. Right, right, right. All right, so that's the first half of the game done. Um... Yeah, I, I kind of, now I kind of feel like we're going to see some more deaths in the second half of the game. Yeah, uh, while we're waiting for it to load, uh, you want to talk about your favorite gorilla memes? My favorite. Yeah, I mean it's so hard to choose. <laughs> it's like I love. There's no reason to be upset. <laughs> That's a good one. I love. I love the monkey with the bananas and the sign. Yeah. That's a good one. Like those Harambe memes? Yeah, Harambe. I like I like when people say dicks out for Harambe. What's going on here? Uh, he says... Uh, he's, uh, well, he's layering under the wall. <laughs> he's deliberately making it look bad. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a dick move. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he had to layer under the walls there for that cutscene to work. <laughs> yeah. Because it has to be revealed. And uh, he has to like be behind the bars in that first shot. Yeah, I just want it to be known that speedrunners... It's disrespectful, you know? <laughs> We've clearly made this thing that <laughs> we, this guy likes a lot. We tried to not make it layer under the cage, and you can just throw us a bone and... Not and walk up to the cage like that. Don't bring attention to the worst-looking parts of the game. Yeah. Uh, this level's pretty hard, I think. Uh, no, not this one. The next one, the, yeah, the yeah. with the lit area, that is, is super so hard. hard. Yeah, one of the hardest levels. I will be yeah. surprised if he doesn't die in that section. Yeah, it's this long, there's this long open warehouse section that's like full of flammable barrels and a lot of guys. And it has like a, a big door at the end to obstruct you. And um, yeah, it's it's a common um, pain point for everybody who plays this game. Right. This is it. It's kind of sideways, the sideways walking's back on this level. Yeah, he wasn't doing it in the last one. Uh, well, because I mean, because you have to go in a spiral, right? It's possible that it is only worth it if you're running a particularly long distance in a straight line or something. Right. Is that could that be it? 
All right, so here is the uh, here is a difficult area in question. There's lots of guys here, so not engaging them probably not an option. He's smushing them. He's doing some smushing. Yeah, he's gonna have to. Oh my! Oh, actually, maybe that was an intentional on fire. Right, right, right. Yeah, so when you're on fire in this game, everybody runs away from you because you know. Yeah, it's actually useful. Yeah, so actually, I think that might have been a, yeah, a deliberate, a deliberate on fire time. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. It worked. He also does that little trick with the big door where he like lets it go, lets go of it for a second before he pulls it all the way off. So he can get rid of it as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's there's like a bug in the way that I've made it where it's like <laughs> related to the audio clip, and then if you <laughs> if you stop doing it for a second, and it's actually faster. Right. You know. Yeah, he's just he's gotten a lot of mileage out of that one. Yeah. So, it is interesting that it looks more similar to normal play a lot of the time than most speedruns. Well, I think that's just for you and me. We were basically speedrunning it all the time. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because we needed to know that everything would work, that you could get to the end of the game. But it's also that the objective is more similar than in most games. It's like you're just trying to get the fuck out. There's no there's no secondary objective that you have to do. Right, right, that's true, but a lot of the time, like a lot of the bugs we faced when we were developing this game had to do with like achievements unlocking or not unlocking and uh, the only way to really honestly test them was to run through the whole game. Yeah, so many times. And we're also just testing, you know, there's the also number like... of enemies that would spawn. It's all like randomized, right? So it's just important to play it a bunch of times. And so, yeah, we, you would try to get through as quickly as possible. It was also just like um, memory st like memory stuff. You had to play the whole thing to see, to get it into the right state when it would crash or something. Right, right. Um, yeah. So, okay, so he's going to come out into the open area. I think the open area is a little easier to just run to the end uh, because yeah, there's you... cover everywhere and usually you're... you're path is not obstructed. Right, and there are a lot of the flamethrower guys. Who... Yeah, they can't basically get you if you're running away. Yeah. So let's see what he does. I think it's going to be a straight shot from here to the end of the album. Never stop? Just never stop. That seems right. So, like, toward the end, I retuned this area pretty thoroughly. At first it was, um... He whiffed. There were a lot of, like, rifle guys around that would shoot you from off-screen in those big open areas. Right. And you got rid of them completely. Yeah, now it's only uh, shotgun guys and... And flamethrowers. And flamethrowers trying to, like, give you more of a chance. But... Oh, my God, the banana! <laughs> <laughs> you got one. Should we explain what the banana is? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess. I mean... It's no longer a secret. It's not a secret. Okay, so, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're if you going through this game and uh, you get to the second half of an album without dying... Um, Somewhere randomly in the world... There'll be a banana. Yeah, so you can see that he's holding a banana in his right hand now. And if he dies, he loses the banana. Right. And if you clear the album without dying at all and, and you found the banana, you get a little sticker on your album that, that is like shows that you, you got the banana. So there are a total of ten bananas in the game. And yeah, because there's five uh, five records and, and each one has a hard mode. Yeah, so you have to get it on hard also, which honestly, when we were making it, I kind of thought nobody would do. Right. Um, but you people are good at video games, turns out. Turns out, oh, this happened. He just ran straight through. Yeah, I mean, it was cool anyway, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that set piece He's really not him. minding being on fire. I think it's actually clearing the, the way for him. Yeah, I think it's super advantageous to be on fire if you're playing this way. Right. I think it's just interesting that his sideways trick doesn't seem to work in the levels. Yeah, I kind of want to interrogate him about that. Yeah. I'm also, what if it's just like swagger? It's like, not. It, it clearly is going faster. <laughs> it's like <laughs> 30. Hey, this is Bowden, the runner. And the reason why I run sideways, specifically in the level transitions, is because in Ape Out, if you walk and aim towards a wall, you will get pushed away. If you aim at a certain angle, you will both get pushed away and forward, but only at a certain distance from the wall. The level transitions have exactly the right width for you to be pushed forward without being pushed away from the wall, making you go faster. 
Now back to the video. 30% faster. It's not 30% faster. This is faster. just wishful thinking. I'm just like, maybe I didn't ride a bug. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's an optical illusion. <laughs> it could just be an optical illusion. <laughs> So the bombs actually help you if you're speedrunning, I think, a little bit as well, because they tend to clear out the guys. Yeah. They run away from them, they blow up. And they start some fires. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he allows them. Oh, no, there's the end of the level. Okay. Yeah. So that's the end of the third album. There's one to go. What are doing the single as well? I don't know. Probably not, no, right? Because the outro is the last yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, credits. I would be. It would be fun to watch a hard mode. Uh, speed run too. I'm kind of curious whether it's whether it exists. Right. I, I don't think you could do it in the same super aggressive way. Yeah. And uh, if you can, it made me think we should have made it harder. I mean, speed running these menus as well. So far, other than the first album, I, I've felt better about how easy it is. It seems like uh, he's at least experiencing a little bit of friction. Right. He right, died. Right. Once. Well, he died. Yeah. 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 A little bit of punishment for just totally... Well, he took some hits game. in the first one as well. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so... Uh, what's he got to look out for in, in the boat? Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, oh my boat. god. Yeah. Oh, that seemed very bad. I've never seen that happen before. Well, you clearly got to be running it real fast to see some of these things. Yeah. Uh, um, what do we, does he... Oh, the rocket launcher, guys. He's going to... Oh, know, yeah, that's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. I mean... Honestly, though, if you're good, you can dodge him. So this level has rocket launcher guys. It has a ton of Melvins. Yeah, so many Melvins. The Melvins are the the little green-headed guys um, that run away from you. Um, there's one. There's one. Yeah, there's a Melvin. Yeah, there's actually, like, this is the level that has squads of, of, of Melvins. So you can reach it. You can have a bunch of them working in uh, cooperation with each other. Yeah. It's quite difficult if you don't deal with them right away. So... That's another area where you'd think a speedrun might get disrupted. Yep. On this level, uh, the lights go out and then the people randomly shoot in circles. Um, which I think is probably not net advantageous. To the speedrun. To run. the speedrun, yeah. because, yep. yeah. It's just using these containers for cover. Yeah. The music changes when you're in the containers. That was a late thing that Matt added. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, that is cool. Um... Yeah, uh, it's really gonna get harder in the in the second half once the once the rocket launchers show up. Yeah, once you get out of the hull of the boat is the is the turn. I don't think we ever got good at running the second half of this album. No, but it's also like by the time you got here, it was like you've been trying to play through this game for forty five minutes <laughs> or something, and you're starting to get impatient. Yeah. But you know, impatience is like kind of the vibe of the game. Yeah, it's true. It's not a game that makes you wait around. Oh, look, he had to kill some people. Yeah, he had to He had to not do the door. Yeah. That's interesting. I think interesting that he's choosing not to use the door as a weapon anywhere, not even for a second. Right, yeah, I mean, it slows you down. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, you also get these, like, medium-sized doors that you have to knock over in this in this area. Look, oh, he did. Oh, he had yeah, to backtrack had to... quite a long way. Yeah, get that Melvin. Yeah, you can't leave him alone. They yeah. will. They will kill you. I'm um, also curious to see in the zoo uh, what, oh, whether what's, what's going to go he on. Whether he frees yeah. a bunch of animals or not. Yeah. I'm going to guess, well, maybe because they are are uh, additional targets for the guards. Maybe it is. Yeah. Maybe it's good. It could save some time. Yeah. His hand's cramping up. Oh, yeah, good. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> so so no real skips. There, there are, There's just good play. And like one or two little glitch things. Oh, I think I've heard of a skip that's about to happen. Is there a skip here? Uh, it's not exactly a skip. Yeah. Oh, what did he do? He deliberately he killed himself. No. He, he, re uh, he rebooted. He, if you restart the level right there, I think you're invincible for the next three levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He's. A, you can tell he's not bleeding. <laughs> he has a hundred health. Wait, does that count? I mean, it's a glitch. I'm fine. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I can explain why that happens. <laughs> I have to make you involved. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to. It was a hack. You don't want to. You don't want them to die in the cutscene. Yeah, there's a cutscene where there's an explosion right. that would normally kill you. In, instead of making that like a special non-lethal explosion, I just made the player have unlimited health for right. a split second. Not expecting the them to to quit and restart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's a classic. Yeah. 
And this is why we love watching speedruns. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, compared to most game speedruns, I feel like we're doing pretty okay so far. Yeah. No out of bounds. You definitely can get out of bounds in this game. Yeah, he hasn't fallen out of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like some of those, if it's easy to fall out of the world, then, then that would bother me. But, like, that one in um, Mario 64 where they have to do like a hundred consecutive oh, yeah. wall jumps to be able to get faster and faster and go through the wall. Like, I'd feel okay about that if I was from the Nintendo team. Yeah. Like, That's kind of good. If, if it takes a lot of skill, like, this one's bad, though. Yeah, I mean, that's just restarting the level at the yeah. right time. Right. I mean, yeah. And it has made it this is, whole level a lot I know, easier. it's really weird. So is he going to be, when he appears in the zoo, is he still going to be in No, okay, so, so. I, I do the same thing. As far as I know, uh, if I remember at the end, correctly. At the end of this. Because you, yeah, you, like, get hit by a car. Right. And so you're, and so there were, like, bugs associated with dying right before you got hit by the car, so I just made you invincible right then. Right. And so presumably there has to be some kind of uninvincibility thing that happens. Okay. That'll fix it <laughs> at the end of this level. I do kind of wish I could see him play with the rocket launchers, caring about it, though. Right now, it's actually good to be hit by the rocket launchers because they give you a big boost of speed when they hit you. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't use that. Maybe that can uh, revolutionize the, the speed run, the, the record. All right, so this is the zoo. This is the last area in the, in the regular game. There's also a, a single, which is like a really, really long level uh, with a kind of there and back uh, structure. That might be the best level, honestly. Yeah, but that's not part of the speedrun. So uh, in this level, you can free animals and they will help to kill the guards, but it takes time. Yeah. Uh, we heard from a lot of people who bought the game and were like, yeah, I had to free every single animal in yeah. the whole zoo. In the <laughs> Yeah, in the first version of the game on Switch and like the release version... If you broke every single cage in the zoo, the game would crash because yeah. there was too many, like there were millions of glass particles all around the level. Yeah. And it was just because we had never tried to yeah, we free never, every single animal. <laughs> we never thought anybody would do that. Yeah. Uh, but there, yeah, there's, there's snakes, lions, bears. Cockroaches. There's cockroaches. Yeah, secret yeah. cockroaches. Um, Some people had to even free the cockroaches. <laughs> They're turtles? There's, there's, they're turtles? Oh, yeah. yeah you can't really true. free the turtles. Uh, they're, they're, turtles are just chill in their cage. Yeah, they like it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no shortage of cockroaches in this game. All right, yeah. there it is. That's the end. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so when does he count the clock to? That's it? I think it's credits. Credits, okay. Yeah. So, there it is. There okay, it is. so. All right. Clock. Damn. Well, we survived it. We watched, uh, <laughs> we watched, we watched a run play. of this game, and, and it was only a little bit... It's the fastest run we've ever had to sit through, though. <laughs> yeah, we lost uh, we lost only, uh, you know, 26 minutes, 56 of our souls yeah. watching mistakes uh, that we made be exploited. Yeah, <laughs> making video games, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Well, Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody.